John, I normally want something in return for a missile or a ballistic test. So what's the, what's the game here? Well, we're still trying to figure out what has been launched, but it keeps the pressure on the Biden administration as Kim stays away from the talks. And it comes as North Korea is really bolstering its uh, arsenal with new weapons. Um, they launched uh, a variety of new weapons at the end of last year, and we still have to see what this one was. Initial indications are that it's a short-range ballistic missile, but we don't have that much data yet about the flight. We've yet to see a reaction from the U.S. What is it likely to say? What can it do? Oh, the U.S. usually doesn't give much of a reaction to these types of launches. Um, it keeps a close eye on them. It consults with its allies. And it, re it keeps repeating, the Biden administration keeps repeating that it wants North Korea to return to the nuclear disarmament talks that have been stalled for two years. And Pyongyang has shown really little interest in returning to these discussions. So, John, uh, the question here is, uh, we've already had uh, the Japanese Prime Minister say that this was all regrettable. Uh, the thing is that, that we've got a country here which is hermit-like, I suppose we've often called it that. It's got its own demons it's got to fight inside, and, and, and that's the priority that Kim Jong-un says that he's, he's actually prioritizing. Exactly. Kim has mentioned that his country is facing very difficult times. There's a food crisis. His decision to shut the borders because of COVID uh, two years ago really slammed the brakes on the little legal trade it has and some of the black market trade in foodstuffs that are essential to parts of Pyongyang. Um, Kim has also made rare admissions that things are difficult at home. These types of tests help uh, rally the nation. They're shows of strength. And they come as he's uh, told a major party meeting at the end of the year that the focus is on domestic issues. It's on food, it's on COVID pre uh, prevention. And I think this may be sending a message to his people at home that they're still a strong country. And also a reminder to the Biden administration that North Korea's nuclear arsenal is only getting stronger as the nuclear talks drag, as the nuclear talks are stalled.